Armed to the teeth and ready to strike at a moment's notice, warships are the cornerstone of any country's navy. They're designed for speed and maneuverability. The warship doesn't carry anything but munitions and supplies, and provides both the perfect defense for large carriers and troop support during amphibious landings. So let's begin today's video. Here are the 15 most powerful navy warships. Let's begin. Number 15. Akizuki Class Kicking off our list of the most powerful Navy warships is the Akizuki class from Japan. This island nation does have one of the most powerful navies in the world, so don't act surprised to see them here. The Akizuki is the newest class of destroyer in the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, and it's one of the most advanced in the world. It's built with some of the latest and greatest technology its home country can offer, and acts as the perfect complement to the larger Atago and Congo class destroyers in service. They are formidable in their own right. The Akizuki class is essentially in the same league as modern European frigates, but Japan puts these in the destroyer class thanks to their comprehensive weapons and sensor suite. As of 2021, there are just four of these destroyers, with the final one commissioned in 2014. They are solid, multi-role vessels that use a combined propulsion system with four Rolls-Royce gas turbines to provide 19.5 megawatts of power to each for a total of 78 megawatts. This modern-day ship employs dual-band multi-mode radar with four C-band and XO-band faces on each foot for the long-range searching and tracking, as well as fire control and target illumination in the terminal intercept phase. On top of that, they have a 5-inch Mark 45 main gun firing up to 20 rounds a minute, eight Type 90 anti-ship missiles, and a 225-kilogram warhead for surface warfare capability primarily used as a defensive craft. They also come equipped with anti-submarine rockets and cruise missiles. Never leave home without yours. Number 14. Type 52C Luyang II Class Not only do they have one of the strongest navies in the world, but also China has the third largest fleet on the planet, and their Type 52C Luyang II Class is one of the top dogs in that fight. While often compared to some American destroyers, the Type 52C still manages to stand out on its own and has almost no similarities to its American counterparts. That's because these 7,000-ton ships are built to test several new technologies, like their electronically scanning radars, long surface-to-air missile systems, land attack capability, Chinese-made close-in weapon systems, and brand spanking new hull design. So, could these Type 52Cs blow the competition out of the water? Well, I hope we never have to find out, because they can make for one incredibly formidable opponent while laying down the foundation for future upgrades. These Chinese battleships are all built with a combined diesel or gas propulsion system using strictly diesel for low-speed cruising and their gas turbines to reach those higher speeds. They've got a dual-band active scanning array radar with four faces mounted on the superstructure and have precision searching, tracking, and missile guidance systems. The Type 210 main gun fired 90 rounds a minute, and vertical launch systems use compressed air to cold launch the missiles up to 125 miles away. There's a good chance by the time the enemy spots this thing, it's already too late. Number 13. Type 45 Daring Class Try and test your might against the Type 45 Daring Class, if you dare. Setting sail for the Royal Navy, the Type 45 Daring class was developed as the far superior replacement to the Type 42, and was initially conceived as a one-for-one -one replacement for the 12 previous destroyers. In the end, though, only six of these ships were built due to heavy budget cuts, and so now they serve as the sole destroyer class. That's a lot of pressure, but the Type 45 can handle it thanks to their new and improved cutting-edge weapons and systems coupled with a high degree of automation, which reduced the crew requirement. These six ships all have a 48-cell vertical launch system for a deadly mix of 48 Aster-15 missiles with a 31-mile range and the Aster-30 missiles with a max range of 75 miles. They've got their eight inclined tube launchers for Harpoon anti-ship missiles and a nasty 114mm gun to engage surface targets and shore bombardment during amphibious landings. And if smaller enemy craft find themselves in the Type 45 class's sights, then they can expect a friendly greeting from the two 30mm Bushmaster cannons. This thing is a whopping 8,000 tons and mainly serves as an anti-aircraft role, making it the perfect escort for aircraft carriers. Number 12. Horizon Class Moving over towards France and Italy, we have the Horizon and Horizonte class ships. Part of a pan-European program consisting of the UK, France, and Italy, the Horizon Common Frigate Program originally called for 22 air defense ships to be built, with 12 for the Royal Navy, 4 for the French Navy, and the remaining 6 for the Italians. 
But when the UK ran into some logistical, bureaucratic, and monetary issues, the French and Italian navies found themselves with just two vessels each. But don't think they got the short end of the stick, because these ships are pretty awesome, with a similar core weapons and sensor system that allow multi-role ships to handle threats in the air, land, and both on and below the surface, and act as the perfect escorts for their respective carriers. Each of these four vessels is equipped with a European multifunction phased array radar for top-notch surface and air search, target tracking, and of course, missile guidance. And you can spot and track aerial targets at long ranges with early warnings with this thing. They've also both got their bow-mounted sonar and sagem infrared search and track vampire for the detection of asymmetric threats and passive tracking of short-range missiles. And what happens when the Horizon class finds you? Well, you can say hello to all of their little friends like the 48-cell vertical launch system firing both short and long-range missiles. Exocet anti-ship missiles, 76mm super rapid guns, six Mistral point surface-to-air missiles, and MU-90 impact lightweight torpedoes. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Number 11. Kolkata Class Representing the Indian Navy is the ever-powerful Kolkata Class Destroyer. Developed under Project 15A, the Kolkata Class is the largest of its kind to be built and designed for India and by India. And while these ships may have been assembled locally, they're made with a wide variety of equipment from countries like Italy, Ukraine, Israel, and Russia, which gives the Kolkata-class destroyer the supreme advantage of having cutting-edge technology from the east and west all fused into an Indian platform. With a total displacement of 7,500 tons, the Kolkata class is the most powerful class of warships in the Indian fleet, and was joined by the four Visakhapatnam class ships in 2020, which gave similar capabilities and configurations. There are just three Kolkata-class ships in service, all of which are stealth-guided missile destroyers that escort their carrier, the INS Vikramaditya. They have full-scale command and control facilities which allow them to act as the fleet flagship when the carrier is away. This destroyer's radar has a range of over 155 miles and is used for surface-to-air search, tracking, missile guidance, and gunnery. And the secondary Thales radar operated in the L-band as long-range surveillance radar and provide target indication to the weapon control systems. This Kolkata class sees anything and everything, both above and below the surface, and it's fully equipped for both anti-air, anti-sub defense, and offense, and can even nail land targets with supersonic cruise missiles. Number 10. The Hobart class. The Royal Australian Navy is working tirelessly to become a blue water navy, meaning a navy that can operate in any of the world's oceans, and their Hobart class destroyer is one asset bringing them closer to that coveted status. The 6,900-ton Hobart class allows the Royal Australian Navy to provide a 375-mile diameter protective umbrella while acting as the fleet escort, bringing them up to the level of other top navies that can field similar air defense capabilities. There's just three of these Hobart class ships. They're equipped with SM-6 missiles and are able to provide an adequate amount of air defense against threats encountered along Australia's northern coast, which is a massive increase in their capability thanks to their highly advanced long-range radars and missiles on board. And while these ships are marketed as air warfare destroyers, they have no problem providing heavy anti-surface and anti-sub support as well, thanks to their superior SPY-1D passive electronically scanned array radar with a range of over 215 miles, the SPQ-9B X-band radar for detecting low-flying threats, and the search and track system for passive detection of cruise missiles and aircrafts. And once these Hobart-class destroyers see you on their radar, they can deploy a mix of SM-2, ESSM, and SM-6 missiles for surface-to-air attacks, eight Harpoon anti-ship missiles, MU-90 lightweight torpedoes, and a mean 127mm Mark 45 main gun. Talk about thunder from down under. Number 9. Type 52D Luyang 3-class, Kunming-class. Heading back over to mainland China for the next entry on our list, we have the Type 52D Kunming class destroyer. The successor to the highly successful and highly capable Type 52C destroyer. The 52D improves everything from the guns to the radars to the missile launchers and creates one of the most formidable opponents out on the ocean today. These 7,500-ton destroyers were being mass-produced in the mid-2000s and finally went into active service in 2021 to help with the People's Liberation Army Navy's Blue Water Navy ambitions. And while the Type 52D is a great overall vessel, the highlight is the universal vertical launch system that allows for a single launcher to fire a variety of missiles, ranging from surface to air, anti-submarine, anti-ship, and even land attack cruise missiles. 
It is truly ready, willing, and able to handle any situation thrown at it. Ironically, this type of technology was pioneered by the United States, but China managed to copy it and became the second country in the world to implement this diverse firing system. China's Type 52D has a four-faced S-band ASA radar mounted on the superstructure for quality long-range search, tracking, and surface-to-air missile guidance, as well as the Type 517 VHF long-range early warning radar and active and passive bow-mounted sonar. For armaments, this destroyer has three separate guns, including the 130mm main gun, a short-range SAM launcher with 24 missiles, two triple lightweight torpedo tubes, and the aforementioned 64-cell universal vertical launch system for the mix of five different types of missiles, including a 500kg warhead. Number 7. Otago Class the Otago-class destroyers hail from the land of the rising sun and form the spearhead of the Japanese sea-based air defense with their advanced radars and long-range missiles. Constantly staring at the face of increasing threats from North Korea and Chinese adventurism near the disputed Senkaku Islands, Japan needed something to meet those potential threats head-on, although hopefully it never comes to that. These 10,000-ton destroyers place a big-time emphasis on the long-range area and air defense, as the Japanese Navy lacks the carrier-based jets that would normally take on that role. Based on this destroyer's design, the Otago class kicks it up to 11, being significantly larger and having superior maneuverability, a larger superstructure design, and a new and improved VLS layout. They also come fully equipped with a SPY-1D passive electronic scanning array radar with four panels to operate in the S-band for air and surface search and target tracking, and they got a solid range of well over 215 miles. The three SPG-62 illuminations provide terminal target illumination for the semi-active radar homing surface-to-air missiles, and it also has superior surface search and bow-mounted sonars, all the better to see you with, as the Otago class sports gear up to fire a multitude of missile configurations from their 96 cells, including long- and short-range surface-to-air, exo-atmospheric, anti-ballistic, anti-ship, and anti-submarine missiles. And when they're looking at some closer range combat, the Otago class destroyers can employ that 127mm Mark 45 main gun, their two Phalanx 20mm close in weapon systems, or their 324mm lightweight torpedoes. If you see this thing on the ocean, don't even bother to say hello. Just say goodbye. Number 6 The HMS Helsingborg K 32. When it comes to stealth vehicles, landlubbers and airheads can't have all the fun. So that's why plenty of the world's navies are employing the HMS Helsingborg, or better known as the K-32. This missile corvette is a Swedish Visby-class ship, and it's one of the crown jewels of the Swedish naval fleet. It's small but packs a serious punch, on top of having a low visibility, a small radar cross-section, and very small infrared signature. To put that all into layman's terms, the enemy isn't going to see this thing on their systems until it's too late. But on top of all those fancy and secretive bells and whistles, the K-32 warship also comes with the Saab Seros 200 Stealth Fire Control Radar System, which is designed to provide them with lots and lots of information on the enemy. We're talking about target elevation, range, and range rate, all of which are sent to the fire control systems, making sure that when they do fire, they never miss. The missiles are all kept below deck and fired through the K-32's special hatches that allow them to maintain their stealth capability. It's got a detection range of 13 kilometers in rough waters, but when things calm down, you can crank that range up to 22 kilometers. The K-32, it's one tough vessel and looks pretty damn cool too. Number 5. USS Zumwalt It may have a pretty odd shape, but the USS Zumwalt is another awesome stealth vehicle. This destroyer-grade ship is under the employ of the United States Navy and is built with a tumble-home hull, which helps add to its stealth capabilities, and comes equipped with a guided missile launcher that carries anti-aircraft, anti-sub, and tomahawk strike missiles to fire at the enemy before they're ever able to realize what's happening. Yeah, and all of that hardware is obviously going to cost a pretty penny, and the USS Sumwalt comes with a hefty $3.5 billion price tag to boot. But that's because it also pays for the destroyer's Raytheon Phased Array radar system that allows it to quickly detect any and all incoming aircraft and missiles, and even any other stealth ships. The Zumwalt is just flat out better than most other assault watercraft out there. It can even give the folks on board control and targeting information for nearby enemy ship missiles and guns, and the Phased Array radar eliminates the rotating antenna supported by angular masts, which would increase the radar cross-section. So while you may not be able to see the USS Zumwalt, rest assured, it can see you. 
Number 4. Congo-class destroyer Named after mountains in Japan, the Japanese Congo-class guided missile destroyer is the first of few ships outside the United States to be equipped with the Aegis combat system. The Congo-class is yet another ship to be designed after the groundbreaking Arleigh Burke-class of the U.S. Navy. The hull adopted the sheltered deck design and was widened to support the superstructure with four Pisa antennas, just like the western counterpart, and the outer panel is inclined to reduce the width of the waterline, which in turn reduced the radar cross-section. But unlike the Arleigh Burke class, the Congo's most recognizable feature is the vertical mast and enlarged superstructure, which can carry enough equipment so it can act as the fleet's flagship. Plus, this Congo class is equipped with all sorts of bells and whistles. It's built with an SM-2MR Block 3A and Mark 41 vertical launching system, arranged with 29 cells on the foredeck and 61 cells on the aft deck, which could counter North Korean ballistic missiles. And when it comes to electronic warfare, this class of destroyers equipped with the NOLQ-2, which is capable of both radar support and jamming. Number 3. Silver Mini Class the Silver Mini-class destroyer is the main anti-surface warship of Russia. While the primary role of this guided missile destroyer is to attack enemy warships, it's also fully capable of anti-aircraft, anti-submarine, and coastal bombardment roles, making it quite a force to be reckoned with. These Russian destroyers have a hefty displacement of 8,400 tons and come equipped with 48 air defense missiles, 8 anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, mines, long-range guns, and a comprehensive electronic warfare system. These Russian destroyers are using their two steam turbine engines, each producing 50,000 horsepower, with four high-pressure boilers to haul all the equipment around at a max speed of about 33 knots for about 30 days, or 3,900 miles. Number 2. King Sejong the Great Class Coming in perhaps as a surprise to some, the South Korean Navy is the proud owner of one of the most powerful battleships in the world, the King Sejong the Great Class. South Korea has a massive shipbuilding industry large enough to rival and even outperform those in the Western world. The King Sejong the Great class was built in just two years, and with an 11,000 ton displacement when fully loaded, they are the largest destroyers in the world. Based on the world class Arleigh Burke design, these South Korean destroyers have a comprehensive and impressive sensor and weapons package, which enables them to carry out truly any type of mission, from cruise missile defense to attack land targets up to 900 miles away, and to high intensity anti submarine warfare. And without diving into the geopolitics of the region, having something like the King Sejong the Great in your fleet is pretty important for someone like South Korea. And while the sensors and radars on this ship are capable of tracking space and missile launches, it's the armaments that really gets things going. This multi-role vessel has your standard 127mm Mark 45 main gun, but then it's got the 30mm Goalkeeper Close-In Weapon System a 21 rolling airframe missile close-in weapon system, the 80-cell Mark 41 VLS for SM-2 Block 3 surface-to-air missiles with a 100-mile range, 16 SSM-700K anti-ship missiles, a 48-cell KVLS for a mixture of nearly 50 different land and subsurface missiles, and the two triple launchers for the Blue Shark lightweight torpedoes. The King Sejong the Great class destroyers are absolute beasts, and it's said that a single one of these ships can obliterate an enemy fleet and even pound land targets deep into enemy territory and make it back to base in time for some chow. And just owning one of these bad boys is rough enough, but the Republic of Korea Navy already has three in service, with another three already in the works. Number 1. Arleigh Burke class Named after the famous World War II American destroyer officer, the Arleigh Burke class is the most successful destroyer class in the world, with 70 warships in active service, and it's one of the few destroyers still in mass production. And by 2025, the United States is looking to increase their numbers up to 80. Since their introduction to the world's oceans in 1991, the Arleigh Burke class has served in every theater of conflict for the U.S. Navy, carrying out escort missions, deterrence patrols, anti-piracy missions, ballistic missile defense duties, land attacks, anti-air and humanitarian and disaster relief missions. It's quite clear that no job is too big or small for these warships, and you won't find a more seasoned naval vessel. These 9,800-ton ships have some of the most powerful radars and largest missile armaments in the world, and are constantly undergoing upgrades that allow them to handle just about any threat in the ocean. Their propulsion systems are powered by four LM2500 gas turbines, each generating 19,000 kilowatts, and they've got a range of about 5,400 nautical miles at a speed of 18 knots. 
All 70 of these ships include their SPY-1D radar with four panels and a range of over 215 miles. Their three SPG-62 illuminators provide terminal target illumination for the semi-active radar homing surface-to-air missiles, which pack quite the punch, and they even have their bow-mounted and towed array sonar. Then there are the munitions. These warships have a 96-cell Mark 41 vertical launching system with 32-4 and 64 aft for a mix of long-range SM-2s, short-range ESSMs, and the SM-3 exo-atmospheric anti-ballistic missiles, SM-6 surface-to-air missiles with a range of 215 miles, ASROC anti-submarine missiles, and Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles with a range of nearly 1,000 miles. And if all of that isn't enough, the Arleigh Burke-class ships also have eight Harpoon anti-ship missiles, the 127mm Mark 45 main gun, and two 25mm Bushmaster cannons for asymmetric threats, the Phalanx 20mm close-in weapon system, and two triple torpedo tubes for their 324mm lightweight torpedoes. What a beast. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.